Benny McGrath here with the Campbell River What's On Digest must-see event. It's February and it's cold, but it's also the month of love and family times. And so if you're looking for something to do with your significant other or others, then here is five must-see events happening in Campbell River this February 2018. February 14th is, of course, Valentine's Day. And if you're anything like me, then you may have left Valentine's Day organizations for the 14th of February. Not ideal, but I can help you there. In the What's On Digest magazine on page 12, 13, and 14, you'll find a long list of things to do on Valentine's Day. Romantic dining, Valentine's Day trivia, painting together with friends. There's a bunch of cool ideas to share with the ones you love. And of course, that's February 14th, Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments below if you didn't have anything to do, but somehow found it in the What's On Digest. That would just make my day. On February 17th, Campbell River Community Center has a giant indoor garage sale. Garage sailing is a lot of fun, but just like any kind of sailing, it can be ruined, even fatal, if the weather turns sour. Solution, beat the rainy weather and cash in on some stuff you don't use by garage sailing out of harm's way inside the community center. It's giant because everyone's invited. It's, it's actually kind of smart because the more people that are there selling stuff, the more buyer traffic there is. And then, and then with all that buyer traffic, the more sellers want to show up. <laughs> and it's really good for condo owners as well. If you have any friends that are condo owners, you should mention them in the comments below because I, I bet their garage is just full of stuff. Maybe that's just me. The other cool thing about being in the community center is the concession with snacks and stuff. Call ahead to book your space or just show up at the community center on February 17th. Also happening on February 17th is the BC Paramedics 14th annual trivia night. The night itself supports the purchase of important equipment that keeps our neighbors safe and healthy. It's also really fun because you get to form a team and then crush your neighbors with the collective encyclopedia of your brain. Aha, you might say to yourself, I have a secret weapon. Google, nope, that's not a secret. Electronics are not allowed, but you are allowed to eavesdrop on other teams. Although that's probably frowned upon. But if they're talking out loud, is it really eavesdropping? You're gonna wanna sign up for that with the Campbell River Hospital Foundation and compete on February 17th at the Campbell River Sportsplex. February 24th is the coldest night of the year. That's where you get to walk for two to five kilometers on a cold winter's night in downtown Campbell River. Why, you ask, would anybody want to do that? And how do they know that the 24th is gonna be the coldest night of the year? Do they have a weather machine? Well, they actually made a super great video that explains two of those questions. How can they be sure? Who? The organizers. How can they be sure tonight's gonna be the coldest night of the year? Honey. Hey, hey. Siri says, Next week's gonna be way colder. <laughs> yeah, and Google says that too. Well, whenever it is, we are ready. Right, guys? Yeah. Well, actually, the law of averages states that the coldest night of the year can be calculated the by... The Farmer's Almanac says, with 97% of precipitation and a chance... Oh, guys! No matter how cold it is, we're walking because there are people in our town that need help right now. Oh. It's true. Each of our communities have families, seniors, and youth who are struggling right now. Some are homeless, others are hungry. Many are really hurting. They need our help. So bundle up, come out and walk with us in the coldest night of the year and support a charity in your town. Together, we can warm up the night. Be at the Navy League Hall at 4 p.m. to register. This one's actually on March 2, but I really didn't want you to miss it. Because for too long, musicians have dominated the spotlight on the stages of hot venues pretty much everywhere. Enter the visual artist because Art Battle is here. Painters transform into warriors going head to head in front of a live crowd. 12 artists, three rounds, they all get the same paint palette and 20 minutes to compete. And then you, the audience, gets to decide who will win and who will die. Just kidding. No one dies. Actually, one person wins and everyone gets to sell their art. 
you could be one of the people that gets to go home with some art. It's usually a packed house, so try to be there early. Early. Try and get there early. It starts at 7 p.m. on March 2nd at the Willow Point Hall. And you can get more details about that in the links above on Facebook or below on YouTube. You'll find details about all the events I mentioned there as well. Of course, I can't fit all the Campbell Rivers events into one video, so make sure you pick up a copy of the What's On Digest, which you can find, oh, that's the back, which you can find on the shelves and countertops of stores and cafes, etc all over Campbell River. If you like what we do and want to help us support active living in Campbell River, then give this video a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, then subscribe to our YouTube channel for lots more videos about local events and things to do all over Vancouver Island. And on Facebook, we're always giving away tickets to local events, so follow us there too. My name is Benny McGrath for the What's On Digest. You keep throwing great events, Campbell River, and I'll keep telling you what's on. Ah uh, yes, and I did want to tell you a special announcement. We got this green screen. As you can see, it is green, but it can also be red or blue or yellow or orange. We can also do some crazy things. Oh yeah? What kind of crazy things? Like this? Whoa. Pretty crazy. That's crazy. <laughs>